Have you ever pondered the state of healthcare in prisons? It's a question that often falls to the wayside, yet it holds weighty implications for human rights and the rule of law. Today, we delve into the story of Jules Moultrie, an inmate at Red Onion State Prison, who has challenged the status quo and raised important questions about the state of inmate healthcare. Our narrative begins with Moultrie's initial medical request, a hernia, a condition that can escalate from discomfort to a life-threatening situation if untreated, was the source of his concern. Despite the pain, despite the potential complications, his request for medical attention was met with what can only be described as neglect. The saga takes a darker turn as we learn that Moultrie's requests for necessary surgery were not only ignored, but outright disregarded. The pain continued, the hernia persisted, and Moultrie languished in medical limbo. But the story doesn't end there. Upon his transfer to Wallens Ridge State Prison, a subsequent evaluation finally acknowledged the severity of Moultrie's condition. A surgery recommendation was made, shining a light on the negligence he had previously encountered. Yet this revelation raises more questions than it answers. How could such a significant medical issue be overlooked? What does this tell us about the state of healthcare in prisons? As we grapple with these questions, we also acknowledge the systemic issue of medical care neglect within the prison system. This isn't just about one inmate, one hernia, or one lawsuit. It's about a system that has failed in its duty of care with legal and health implications that echo far beyond the prison walls. Moultrie's case is now pending. His request for a jury trial a testament to his determination to shed light on this issue. His struggle underscores the need for timely and appropriate medical intervention for all inmates. After all, the right to health is a human right, irrespective of one's status as a free individual or an inmate. In conclusion, Moultrie's journey from medical request to lawsuit paints a sobering picture of healthcare within the prison system. It serves as a stark reminder that the need for reform is not just desirable, but crucial. As we follow this case and its wider implications, one thing is clear, the conversation about healthcare in prisons is long overdue, and it's time we paid it the attention it deserves. To stay up to date on the latest prison litigation news, subscribe to Breaking Through News on the Newsbreak app or at breakingthrough.com.